Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rocha back here with another San Francisco 49ers preview. And what a matchup we have, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday night football under the lights in prime time. We got maybe what could be the game of the year between the 9 and 1 San Francisco 49ers and the 8 and 2 Green Bay Packers here in week number 12. It's going to be a instant classic, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait for this game. Uh, currently, the 49ers are favored by three. I'm actually going to take that three. That's right where I have my score. I'm going to take that three. So give me the 40. I'm going to take the spread at 49ers minus three. That's exactly where I have it. The over-under for this game is 47.5. I'm taking the under. I don't think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be a well defensive play game. It's going to be a low scoring game. Uh, let's take a look at the injury report for this game. Really, nothing really going for the Packers besides Devontae Adams. He's going to be limited with, uh, you know, he had that turf toe injury, but he'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Or we just, I just saw on Bleacher Report, offensive lineman uh, Cole Madison has torn his ACL for the Packers. So he's going to be out for the year, which sucks for them. But out for the 49ers, you know, Aziz Al Shahir, he's good to go. He'll be starting for us. Matt Breda most likely not playing. D Ford is up in the air. Same with Robbie Gold. George Kittle's most likely back. DJ Jones, Debo Samuel, Emmanuel Sanders, they're gonna play. And Joe Staley. <coughs> Joe Staley, he's out with a finger injury. <coughs> Otherwise, 49ers are relatively healthy. <coughs> and that's pretty much it for the injury report. Let's go on to some matchups. Of course, the key matchup here is Aaron Rodgers versus the San Francisco 49ers. 2006 still ha haunts us to a degree. Still haunts us to a degree. You know, 49ers not drafting Rodgers ever since then. You know, he's been wanting to kill the 49ers. He's been up and down against the 49ers throughout his career. I apologize, guys. I don't know what the hell's on my shirt. All right. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, but you know, uh, he dominated the 49ers for a while. Then we got the best of him in 2011, 12, 13. Then we haven't beaten him since. But it's going to be another good matchup. I don't think Aaron Rodgers has faced a team, a 49ers team good like this, even during the Harbaugh era. This 49ers team, in my opinion, is better than the teams in the uh, Harbaugh era. <clears throat> we got uh, Devontae Adams, one of the best receivers in the league. He's a 49ers secondary. You know, they've shut him down Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup. They've shut down Mike Evans, Odell, and Jarvis Landry. Can they shut down Devontae Adams? That's going to be a key one. Uh, Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams versus the 49ers run defense. Packers have a really, really good run game. 49ers run defense is almost in the 20s now. So, it's going to be a key thing. Can the 49ers stop one of the best run-backing tandems in the league in Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams? Uh, let's take a look at two more matchups. Packers pass rush is a 49ers offensive line. This is probably the best pass rush 49ers have faced this year. You know, you got Shadavius Smith. You got Preston Smith for the Packers. Those two have, I think, 10 plus sack, almost 10 plus sacks each. So let's see how the 49ers run defense can hold. You know, they did relatively well last week against Chandler Jones and Terrell Suggs. But the previous week against Seattle, they were terrible. And then the 49ers pass rush. This is a Packers offensive line. This is probably the best pass rush. Well, obviously, 49ers are tied with the Panthers and the NFL. The most sacks, and they have the most sacks in third and fourth down. Um... So, how can the Packers offensive line? Again, they just lost an offensive lineman. They still got a good offensive line, but they have not faced a pass rush like San Francisco. So, that's going to be key. That's going to be key. All right. Let's go on to fantasy matchups. For 49ers, I would start Jimmy G. I think he's going to have a pretty solid game. I would start Tevin Coleman if you want. I know he's been iffy, but I would definitely start Emmanuel Sanders and George Kittle, especially if Kittle plays. And I would probably start Debo Samuel. 
He's turning into what looks like our number one wide receiver in the future. He's been killing it the last two weeks. If he has another 100-yard game, he'll be the first 49er since Jerry Rice to have three straight 100-yard games. And then, of course, 49ers defense. I expect Aaron Rodgers, you know, knowing Rodgers and Jimmy G, I expect both of them to throw at least one pick each. You know, Rodgers is usually good for almost a pick a game, and so is Jimmy G. Well, I want to say that about Rodgers, maybe not. But sometimes, you know, he tends to air it out and gets picked. For the Packers, I would consider starting Aaron Rodgers. I don't think he'll have that great of a game. Let's say maybe 245, a touchdown and a pick, something like Russell Wilson's numbers. I would definitely start Aaron Jones. I think he can have a close to 100 yards on the ground and at least one touchdown. And I would I'd probably start, you know, Devontae Adams. I think he can get you maybe six receptions, 50 yards and a touchdown, maybe. So, again, for fantasy-wise, I'd start Jimmy G. Jimmy G and Aaron Rodgers are questionable starts. So is Tevin Coleman. I would start Emmanuel Sanders and George Kittle. Go ahead and start Debo Samuel. 49ers defense is a must-start. And then Aaron Jones is a must-start. And I would start Devontae Adams as well. So, again, the recap. I'm taking the 49ers right at that minus three. Taking the under at 47.5. Matchups of Rodgers versus 49ers. You know, Adams was a secondary. Jones and Williams was the 49ers run defense. 49ers pass rush. For, uh, Packers pass rush. You know, can the 49ers finally get this run game going? We haven't had it going since that huge game against Carolina. Can the 49ers, George Kittle most likely back, with use check back, can the 49ers get that damn run game going? And again, for fantasy. Aaron Rodgers, Jimmy G, questionable starts. Tevin Coleman, questionable start as well. I would start Aaron Jones. I would start Devontae Adams, Sanders, Kato, 49ers defense, and maybe Debo Samuel. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the final score of Sunday's game, in my opinion, will be the San Francisco 49ers, 24, the Green Bay Packers, 21. I have the 49ers coming out. Moving on to 10-1 to to go on and lead the top of the NFC by two games. So again, I have, uh, sorry, by a game. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, by a game. Yeah, depending on what the Saints do. So again, I have the San Francisco 49ers winning this game. 24-21, what should be a thriller, what should be a classic game. I'm excited, guys. I hope you guys are too, whether you're Packers or a 49er fan. Guys, this game Sunday night, unfortunately... I would not be live streaming it. I'm going to be chilling at a friend's house watching the game. So I'm taking a game off. This is the game I decided to do. So if you guys want to check out live reactions to this game, go check out the Sports Ferry. Go check out the Entertainment Talking Sports of Bad Dog Sports, whoever does the game. And of course, go check out the best Packer YouTuber and all of YouTube, Tom Grossi. So if you guys want live reactions to the game, go on over and check one of them. I'll have my analysis on the game either maybe that night and you know, if I go decide to go live for a little bit or that following day on the review video. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that sub and notification bell if you're new to the channel. Let me know your score prediction down below in the comments. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys later and let's hope for a great game. Peace, guys.